Hello, and welcome to the Healthy Solutions for All YouTube channel. I'm Michelle Tonkin, MD. In today's episode, we're talking about heavy metals. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today on this episode on the Healthy Solutions for All YouTube channel, talking about heavy metals. We're talking about heavy metals and detoxification. Now, normally when we talk about heavy metals, we're thinking about you know heavy metal rock and roll music, but today we're going to be talking about heavy metals that exist in the food that we eat, the air that we breathe, and the water that we drink. Heavy metals are all around us in our environment and they are present in a lot of things. So what can heavy metals do to our bodies? Well, over time, if they are allowed to accumulate, they can cause a lot of issues, um, a lot of health problems, and a lot of times people are misdiagnosed with those health problems. Uh, this can cause issues in our liver, our kidneys, even in our nervous system. And they can cause issues from anywhere from um, memory loss, headaches, depression, uh, issues, emotional issues, uh, lack of coordination, neuropathy, and even liver and kidney issues. So we're going to talk about some common sources of heavy metals and also ways you can test heavy metal, heavy metals in your body and also ways to naturally detoxify. So the first source, the common source of heavy metals is actually mercury. And mercury comes um, to us in a number of different forms. Uh, Usually, people can get issues with mercury from silver fillings, known as amalgams. Uh, these silver fillings, uh, a lot more dentists are using more porcelain type non-toxic fillings nowadays, but silver fillings are very common. And But silver fillings, unfortunately, um, they can release uh, harmful and toxic mercury into our mouths. And especially if they have any leaks, if any uh, cracks in the silver filling, they can leach out this mercury into our body and actually can eat away at the myelin sheath that's protecting uh, the nerve tissue in our brain. Also can become a food source for candida, which can uh, cause issues with the gut and other things. So toxic mercury can exist in silver filling, so it's very important to find someone who's a natural um, or a holistic or biological dentist who knows um, how to take care of mercury removal and how to replace those fillings with a natural composite like porcelain. So what's another source of mercury? Another source of mercury can be found in fish. Uh, fish like uh, tuna, um, uh, towel fish, uh, even uh, shark and swordfish, even mackerel can contain mercury. So we want to make sure that the fish we're eating um, is something that is maybe a deep sea sea caught or we can also make sure that these types of, of fish um, that we're eating um, uh, fish are more out the deep sea ocean and um, uh, rotating our meats with other things besides fish also we gotta be careful of vaccinations um, unfortunately uh, there's still some vaccinations that contain thermosol which is a, a preservative that contains about 46.9 percent ethyl mercury. Um, thankfully, um, the um, the CDC um, is helping to uh, get rid of this type of um, preservative found in vaccinations, and more and more vaccinations are being made available without this type of preservative. Uh, so, if you choose to get vaccinated, uh, make sure that you're getting. Um, a, a vaccine with the least amount of this particular preservative, thermosol, or get something that doesn't contain this preservative. Also, you want to make sure you're supporting your immune system by healthy immune choices, your diet, exercise, and boosting your immune system with immune, um, boosting supplements like uh, colostrum, vitamin C, um, the Nutri 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 Nutrimex products we talked about before like Cemento, Kumanda, even olive leaf extract. These are all going to be great immune boosters, so it's going to help your immune system. The next heavy metal that's very common is lead. Now, contamination from lead can come from old lead-based water pipes, uh, lead-based paint, contaminate cookware, unglazed pottery, uh, things of that nature, and um, especially in old houses. So 
you can find some old houses. Uh, before 1978, um, they hadn't put a ban yet on lead paint. And so if, you ha if your house is an older house or if you're remodeling or renovating, you want to make sure that that paint isn't lead based. Also, in 1986, um, before then, um, before 1986, lead water pipes were, act were actually used quite common in a lot of housing too. Um, actually, in 1986, Congress banned uh, the use of lead pipes and in their amended Safe uh, Drinking Water Act. Um, so we don't have, you know, lead-based uh, pipes anymore for drinking water in our houses. But um, you gotta be careful in older homes so make sure that if you have an older home or if you're renovating or looking to buy an older home that's something that you won't be dealing with. Another toxic um, heavy metal is cadmium and this is something uh, that not people, a lot of people are familiar with but it's actually common in cigarette smoking. Um, also can be found in cadmium batter batteries and also in some uh, toys in other parts of the world where uh, safety standards aren't as rigorous. Uh, but the big one here is going to be smoking. So uh, if you're having um, um, exposure to secondhand smoke or if you yourself are a smoker, just be aware that this is a heavy metal that's going to be impacting your health. Um, also, um, besides other things, uh, but this is one heavy metal that we need to be careful of and that we need to detoxify from. Um, then uh, the other one you gotta be careful with is arsenic. Um, it's often found in rodent poison, also in pressure treated lumber. Um, this type of lumber was common um, uh, before uh, 2004, and even a utility and um, uh, railroad ties can be a common hazard. Uh, you gotta be careful of cutting um, this type of wood. Contamination can be. Um, caused by even just putting your hands on it. Um, so you gotta make sure that um, CCA, pressure tree lumber, uh, that's the one that has this type of arsenic in it. Um, it can cause to toxic arsenic poisoning just by touching this stuff. So uh, be aware of the type of lumber that you are purchasing using. Other areas of contamination can include, and you can see the list I'm gonna put up in here, uh, industrial exposure, manufacturing, paints and dyes, mining, Unimproved, unimproved chemicals, untested water wells, and even untested natural spring water. Uh, so we cover the major heavy metals that can cause issues. Um, and there are different testing that you can do to kind of see um, if you have certain heavy metals going on and what well, you might be challenged. And the, um, the first test you can do is called a challenge test. And this is basically done by administering a type of chelating agent um, that you take orally and basically then it's this they measured um, to see what type of heavy metals are present in the urine. Uh, then you have something called urine testing which measures the excretion of about 15 nutrient elements and to 20 toxic elements like metals such as like lead, mercury, arsenic. And this is something that would be ideal for people who have suspected uh, heavy metal toxicity as well as maybe possible nutrient wasting. Uh, then you have hair analysis, which is the one I most commonly recommend as it's pretty easy to do. Um, anyone can do it. Uh, basically, your hair is um, tested for its exposure to heavy metals. Uh, and it kind of assesses um, kind of heavy metal toxicity. And also, it can also um, assess kind of your nutrient absorption and what you're taking in and what you have for nutrients in your body. Uh, so your hair follicles are exposed uh, to the body's blood supply during the growth. So um, your body um, shows a reflection of the body's tissues and what the concentrations are of vitamins, minerals, and heavy metals are present. Uh, so the, heavy, the hair mineral analysis testing uh, shows you um, kind of what issues you might have going on with heavy metals, uh, nutrient deficiencies, and also can make dietary recommendations for you as well as well supplementation recommendations. So this is something I highly recommend. Uh, we have a, a great company that we uh, recommend on our site. I'll put the um, company here. Uh, check it out. It's a really good company and I highly recommend them. Um, let me see here what else we have. Okay, so those are the basic testing that you want to look into doing. Uh, again, the hair mineral analysis testing is going to be the one, the easiest ones to do. 
uh, for detoxification. So there's a, a few ways you can do this. Um, DMSA is a very popular one, it's often used by um, doctors. Uh, the chelate metals like mercury, arsenic, and lead to help remove that from the body. Um, this is available in both intravenous and oral forms. It's also known as chemet in the oral form. It crosses the blood-brain barrier, so it's good at removing heavy metals from the brain. Um, and often it's recommended um, after uh, removal of am amalgams. So this is something they recommend after you go to dentist and have those amalgams removed or sore fillings. Um, the next one is EDTA. And this is also a chelator. It's commonly used for removing um, calcium uh, buildup from the arteries, reducing hardening of, hardening of the arteries. Uh, it's also available orally, intravenously, and also as a rectal suppository. So the advantage of the EDTA is that um, it can be administered at home. You don't have to go into a clinic or something like that to have this administered. And uh, since the, the body's normal elimination of heavy metals is through the feces and urine, uh, this is a great way to do it. Also, it's safe for children. So about five of these um, EDTA suppositories are equal to one of the IV um, of chelator. And one of the best brands that we have found and I've used for clients is called Detoximin. And it's um, a pretty uh, well-known uh, EDTA uh, suppository. It also is pretty safe. Um, it's able to remove uh, lead, mercury, nickel, cadmium, arsenic, barium, uranium, uranium and aluminum. And it's also time release, so it's demonstrated up to three times of effectiveness as uh, intravenous chelation therapy. Also, this allows it to be to go to a much gentler and slower pay, place um, pace for detoxification, uh, so that it's easier on people, especially kids. Um, the only thing with doing um, detoxification of heavy metals, you gotta be careful because as it's going and capturing those heavy metals, it can actually bind up. Uh, good minerals and, and things of like that that your body needs. So you have to replace those as you're doing these detoxifications. And you can do that um, by doing green drinks and also other supplementation of vitamins and minerals. Another thing you can do is vitamin C. Uh, vitamin C orally is a, a great detoxifier, uh, but it's very hard to reach a bowel, bowel tolerance of vitamin C in order to be effective. And so a lot of times, um, uh, um, doctors and dentists would recommend intravenous vitamin C, which um, some people can tolerate and some people can't, but uh, vitamin C has been known to be really well um, effective for helping to remove um, mercury from the colon. Cilantro is another herb that's great for helping to remove mercury, cadmium, uh, lead, and aluminum in the bones and nervous system. and also aids liver in detoxification and supports organ function like the pancreas and intestines. NAC is another great um, detoxifier. Uh, this is a sulfur amino, uh, amino acid. It helps to um, detoxify and eliminate uh, toxins in the body. It's really great as a natural liver detoxifier helps the body to eliminate um, harmful chemicals like cigarette smoke, pollution, and alcohol, and also um, binds with heavy metals uh, for safe removal of the body. I've talked about um, glutathione, glutathione and NAC are, are very close, uh, closely matched. Uh, the a great source of this is going to be um, that whey protein that I've discussed before, uh, naturally occurring glutathione in the whey protein and it's a, one of the best known sources of this uh, potent antioxidant. Also, other chelating agents are available to help remove toxicity of heavy metals. And I'll just go ahead and list them here. Alfalfa, apple pectin, coenzyme A, coenzyme, coenzyme Q10, garlic, and this is one of you want to do that in capsules. Uh, vitamin C, of course we talked about that, and bentonite clay. Uh, bentonite clay has been around for thousands of years. It's even said to be used during J Jesus' time to help heal the blind man's eyes. Vitamin, I mean, excuse me, uh, bentonite clay has an affinity towards toxins, meaning it draws toxins out via the skin. So you can use this as a bath, like a foot bath or a regular bath, and this will help to pull out heavy metals and other toxins like radiation, pesticides, and chemicals 
from the body via the skin. And we know that the skin is the largest organ of detoxification. So this is an easy way again to get rid of those heavy metals. I'll go ahead and put that picture up there of the clay bath that I suggest. Uh, this company has been around for a while. Uh, they do testing on their clay to make sure that it does not have heavy metals contained in it. And it's a very safe um, uh, clay bath to use. I also use this even on kids, uh, especially those dealing with ADD, ADHD challenges, as a lot of times these are connected to heavy metals in their body and are um, causing or contributing to these issues. So thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope that you uh, learn some valuable tools to use. Again, check out our website, healthysolutionsforall.com uh, for tips, uh, for articles, for great nutrition, supplementation, books I've written. Uh, check out the YouTube channel that we have. Uh, feel free to share this with family and friends, loved ones, uh, people that you know that would benefit of this information. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I have a blessed and happy day. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.